Montel Williams keeps an ear open for trouble in half an hour when he talks to children addicted to alcohol. First on four, problems of much less consequence, but teasers nonetheless. It's 15 to 1. Bill Roberts from Bromsgrove in Worcestershire. John Clark from Knott Bride in County Cavan. Alan Ledbetter from Worsley in Manchester. Vera Peatfield from Goudhurst in Kent. Matt Pengelly from Gwenop in Cornwall. Dave Smith from Wigston in Leicestershire. Alex Alexander from Orpington in Kent. Michael Ockwellinger Amoko from Milton Keynes. Ray Reiner from Belsize Park in London. Alison Shannon from Edinburgh. George Walker Burns from Boscombe in Dorset. Martin Phillips from Birchgrove in West Glamorgan. Ron Horsey from Grappen Hall in Cheshire. Sally Simon from Whitefield in Manchester. And Les Hutchison from Durham are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner is John Clark from Knockbride in County Cavan, who is making his third appearance on the series, having been a winner on series 14 and series 15. Welcome back, John. Two questions each in the first round. One correct answer from you to survive. And we begin with Bill Roberts from Bromsgrove in Worcestershire. Bill, Nick Leeson, now in a Frankfurt jail. Which bank did he work for in Singapore? Bearings. John, please, awards and prizes. Which of the six Nobel Prizes is awarded by a five-person committee elected by the Norwegian Storting or Parliament? The Peace Prize. Alan, please, who is the chairman of the Arts Council? Lord Gowery. Vera, John Edmonds, Bill Jordan, Doug McAvoy. In which field are they leading figures? Racing. Trade unions. Trade union leaders, they are. Matt, the Bible, the first book of Kings, chapter 8. What were contained in the Ark of the Covenant? The original tablets with the Ten Commandments on. Yes, word perfect. Dave Theatre, who wrote the novel on which the West End musical Les Miserables is based? Victor Hugo. Alex, please. Vehicle registration. Which West Indian country has the international vehicle registration TT? Trinidad and Tobago. Michael, please. In the context of motor car insurance policies, what do the initials TPFT or TPF and T stand for? Third party fan theft. Ray, please. Television. What new channel was launched at 6.30 p.m. on the 1st of October on Sky Television? No idea. The Disney Channel. Alison, media. Of which group of newspapers is David Montgomery the chief executive? I don't know. The Mirror Group. George, the voyage of Christopher Columbus to the New World in 1492 was sponsored by the King and Queen of Spain. What nationality was he by birth? Italian. Martin, please. Which language is also known as the Taal or South African Dutch? Afrikaans. Ron, the director of the prison service was dismissed in October following a report on recent escapes and discipline. His name, please. Derek Lewis. Sally? What is the Princess Royal's home in the Cotswolds called? Gatcombe Park. Les. Sponsors and sport. Which uniquely English sporting event is sponsored by Beefeater Gin? The boat race. Yes, Oxford and Cambridge. Your second question, Bill. Shakespeare. In which play does the eponymous king hand his crown to Bolingbroke, son of John of Gaunt? Richard III. <laughs> the one before, Richard II. John, if an object is described as stellate, what does it resemble or what shape is it? Star-shaped. Alan, please. Which narrow stretch of water separates the island of Anglesey from the mainland of North Wales? Menai Straits. Vera, board games. A player of which board game would be called a tabler? T-A-B-L-E-R. I don't know. Backgammon. Matt, what type of engines use derve? Diesel engines. Dave, the main international airline of which European country is designated by the code EI? Republic of Ireland. Yes, for Aer Lingus. Alex, please. 
With which pursuit of English life was Miss Gertrude Jekyll an authority and influential figure? Gardening. Michael, who is the first female in line of succession to the British throne? Um, Princess Duchess of Kent. <laughs> Princess Beatrice. <laughs> Ray, please. From which Caribbean island would someone who is colloquially called a Bajan come? Barbados. Alison, opera. What's the German title of the opera by Richard Strauss, which translates into English as The Knight of the Rose? The Rose and Cavalier. Yes, the Rose and Cavalier. George, BBC Radio. Who is the host of the programme Morning Collection on Radio 3? No idea. Paul Gambaccini. Martin, for which adventure story is the writer Johann Rudolf Wies now best remembered? Um, would it be... It's not Batman, is it? Swiss Family Robinson, he wrote. Ron, astronomy. How many stars make up the plough or Big Dipper in the constellation Ursa Major? Seven. Sally, vermiculture is the cultivation of which creatures? Rodents. Worms. Les, the name please of the boy brought up by wolves in the Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. I'm sorry. No. Mowgli. There you are, two down, 13 to go. Laura? And they are Vera Peatfield and Martin Phillips. And the remaining 13 contestants, five still have their three lives intact. Question number one for you, Bill. This is television. Presented by Alastair Stewart, which ITV programme uses police videos of car chases and the bizarre antics of Britain's road users? Camera, action, police. Well, I'll take it, it's police, camera, action. A number, please? 13. Ron, space travel. What was the name of the 363-foot-high rocket that launched the six Apollo missions that landed men on the moon? Saturn, Saturn V. Again, please, Bill. Six. Quotations, please, Dave. At 50, everyone has the face he deserves. The last words in the notebook dated the 17th of April, 1949, of which famous British author? Somerset Maughan. George Orwell. Again, please, Bill. Nine. Medicine, please, Ray. If you are suffering from nephralgia, in which organ of the body are you experiencing pain? Kidneys. A number, please. Three. Alan, in which sport is the American Nick Bollettieri a well-known name? Baseball. Tennis. He runs the tennis academy in Florida that produced players like Andre Agassi. Again, please. Uh, Eleven. Uh, George, London, Canary Wharf. Why is that major office development in East London called Canary Wharf? Because boats from the Canary Islands used to unload imports there. Again, please. Number seven. Sponsors and sport. Which brewer has sponsored the FA Premiership since 1993? Guinness. Carling. Again, please. Number Ray. two. John, chemistry. Which chemical element has the symbol W and the atomic number 74? Tungsten. Yes. A number, please. Uh, 15, please. Opera, Les. La Boheme, Tosca, Madame Butterfly. The Italian composer, please. Puccini. A number, Les. Five. Currencies, Matt. The name, please, of the unit of currency common to Mexico, Argentina, Chile and Colombia. The peseta. Peso. Again, please. Eight. Before Prince Charles, Michael, who was the last Prince of Wales? Ed Edward VII. Edward VIII, who was later Duke of Windsor. Again, please, Les. One. This is television, Bill. Jane Middlemiss and Jamie Theakston are the two presenters of a pop show shown on Mondays and Sundays on BBC Two. Which pop show? Ready, steady, go. You go back a few years, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. It's called The Ozone. <laughs> Again, please. Nine. Ray, what name was given to the walled area within the former imperial city of Peking? Forbidden City. A number, please. Uh, number five. Matt. What would North American Indians do with something called a calumet, spelt C-A-L-U-M-E-T? They drink from it. They'd smoke it. It's a peace pipe. Again, please. Uh, number three. Sport and games. What's the popular name for inline skating? 
Speed skating. Rollerblading. Again, please, Ray. Number ten, please. Unsung heroes, Alison. The film Casablanca. Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman we know about. Who directed that picture? No, I don't know. Michael Curtiz. Again, please, Ray. Um, number seven, please. Alex, Manchester University has a radio observatory near Macclesfield in Cheshire. What's it called? George Bank. Yes, the full name is Nuffield Radio Astronomy Laboratory. A number, please. Uh, 13. Shakespeare, please, Ron. What's the alternative name for Puck, the fairy in A Midsummer Night's Dream? <laughs> you do know Robin Goodfellow. Of course. Yes. Again, please. Number two. Awards, John. Which category of Pulitzer Prize has been won in the past by Ira Gershwin, Richard Rogers, and Stephen Sondheim? Lyrics for songs. <laughs> Drama. Again, please. Three. Alan. Astronomy. Which planet is named after the Roman god of war? Saturn. <laughs> Mars. Again, please. Five. Matt. Which French phrase, meaning literally a feat of strength, is used to describe a remarkable accomplishment? Pièce de résistance. <laughs> Tour de force. Again, please. Uh, nine. Ray. The 19th century minor novels, Frederick and Elfrida, Jack and Alice, Edgar and Emma, Henry and Eliza. The author, please. George Bernard Shaw. <laughs> Jane Austen. Again, please. Ten. English law, Alison. In English law, what is a litigant in person? Litigant in person. Somebody who's conducting his own defence? Yes, a person who speaks for himself either as a plaintiff or as a defendant. A number two. John, an arctophile, A-R-C-T-O-P-H-I-L-E, is a lover and collector of what? Teddy bears. A number, please. Six, please. Sport, please, Dave. Buckler Bologna in Italy, Maccabi Tel Aviv in Israel, Sheffield Sharks in the United Kingdom. Which sport do they play? I think it's basketball. Yes, they play in an international competition. A number, please, Dave? 15. Les, this is law again. For legal or judicial purposes, England and Wales are divided into six circuits or divisions. Northern, Northeastern, Southeastern and Western are four of them. One of the other two, please. Southern and <laughs> South West. That would have been too easy. Yeah. <laughs> they are the Midland and Oxford and the Wales and Chester. Again, please. Uh, 14. Sally. Information on what subject is contained in Grove's Dictionary? Music. A number, please. Um, seven. Sport. Athletics. Alex, Olympic relay races are run over two distances. Which two distances? Uh, 510. <laughs> four by 100 metres, that's the 400 metres, and four by 400, the 1600 metres. Sally, please. Number nine. Which member of the royal family was born on the 14th of November, 1948, right? Charles. Yes, the year after his parents were married. A number? Number six, please. Science, Dave. As demonstrated by passing ambulances, for example, what name is given to the change in frequency of a signal received from an object moving away from the observer? Hmm. It's called the Doppler principle or the Doppler effect. Again, please. Number two, please. Botany, John. Which spring flower is also called the Lent lily? Daffodil. A number, please. 14, please. Chemistry, Sally. Which chemical element has the symbol RN? Um. <laughs> Radon. Again, please, John. 11, please. Shakespeare, George. Valentine and Proteus are the title characters in which Shakespeare play? Two gentlemen of Verona. A number, George, please. Two. John, which National Academy has its headquarters at 6 Carlton House Terrace in London? The Royal Academy. The Royal Society. Again, please. Number one. English Literature, Bill. The Power and the Glory, Our Man in Havana, The Honorary Consul. The author, please. Graham Greene. A number, please. Number 15. Science, please, Les. DNA is the well-known abbreviation. What does DNA actually stand for? No idea. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. Again, please. Number 14. Sally. In which National Sunday newspaper do Michael Jones and Peter Kellner write on politics? Sunday Times. A number, please. Six. Dave, there are seven Roman Catholic archbishops in Great Britain. 
Westminster and Birmingham are two. Two of the other five, please. Liverpool. Yes. Hmm. Glasgow. Ooh. Yes, and Cardiff, St Andrews and Edinburgh and Southwark. A number, Dave? 14. What medical term, Sally, means the removal of living tissue for examination? Biopsy. A number, please, Sally. Uh, number two. The Royal Navy, John. Between what times do the two dog watches fall? Four and six and six and eight. PM. A number, please. Uh, seven, please. Alex, what is meant if one is speaking hypercharistically? Hypercharistically. Tongue in cheek. It means using child or baby talk. Again, please. Eleven, please. London, this is George. Morton's Tower and Lollard's Tower are part of which palace in London? Palace of Westminster. Lambeth Palace. Again, please, John. Ten, please. Alison Medson. A stapodectomy, stapodectomy, is surgery on which part of the anatomy? The trunk. The ears. Again, please, John. Uh, six, please. Dave. What does it mean in English law if a person is described as a patrial? P-A-T-R-I-A-L. Patrial. Hmm. It means the person has a right of abode in the United Kingdom. Again, please, John. Uh, 14, please. Sally, acronym. This is medicine. With the regulation of what is an authority known by the acronym ULTRA concerned? U-L-T-R-A. Um. Transplants. It's the Unrelated Live Transplant Regulatory Authority. Again, please, John. Uh, one, please. Architecture, Bill. Who was the architect of Castle Howard in Yorkshire and Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire? Van Burr. Yes, Sir John Van Burr. A number, please. Nine. Ray, in which city in Texas is the Franciscan mission known as the Alamo? Houston. San Antonio. As it has to be, it's 12 down, three to go. And after the break, Bill Roberts from Bromsgrove in Worcestershire, John Clark from Knockbride in County Cavan, and Michael Okwalingua Amokol from Milton Keynes will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. This is a Christmas appeal from the NSPCC to ask if you can give just two pounds a month now to help save a child's life. Every year in this country, thousands of children are cruelly abused in their own homes. Babies left alone for days without food. Toddlers beaten and bruised. Helpless victims of violence. Young girls and boys shamelessly assaulted. And tragically, it's estimated that every week one child under five dies following abuse or neglect. The children shown here are those that make headline news. But for every child you read about in the papers, there are countless more in need of our protection. Can you spare two pounds a month to help us save a child's life? That two pounds will help us counsel a withdrawn child. It will help our work with children and parents. And it can help us continue to be there for a child at risk. So please, give the best Christmas gift of all and call 0800 28 20 28 now. That's 0800 28 20 28. We're waiting for your call. Someone can save you up to a third on a wide range of fine fragrances. Who can save you up to a third on fine fragrances? Boots. SO unleaded fuels now have more cleaning power, reducing some harmful emissions by up to 20% while still allowing your car optimum performance.
Nespresso Unleaded, a new generation of performance fuels. Hello, Stan here. For a brochure about Stanner stair lifts, dial 100 and ask for free phone Stanner. When your thoughts turn to stairs, turn to Stanner. Contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Bill Roberts, a builder's merchant from Bromsgrove in Worcestershire, John Clark, a primary teacher from Knockbride in County Cavan, and Michael Aquellinger Omoko, a teacher from Milton Keynes. Thank you. Welcome back, Bill, John, Michael. Fingers on the buzzers. Here we go. Which high street bank has a black horse as its logo? Bill? Lloyd's. In which Commonwealth country are there provinces grouped as Atlantic provinces and prairie provinces? Michael? Canada. Angelinos are the native inhabitants of which city? Bill? Los Angeles. Medicine. Podagra is a disease in which an excess of uric acid is deposited in the joints, especially that of the big toe. What's it commonly called? John? Gauss. Which area, now a designated national park, is the setting for Conan Doyle's story, The Hound of the Baskervilles? Bill? Exmoor. Dartmoor. What word is made up from the initials of the words that describe its action? Light amplification by stimulating... Michael? Laser. Laser. Mathematics geometry. If a triangle has two sides of equal length, what can be said of the angles opposite those two sides? Bill? They are equal. Yes. Three correct answers. The choice is yours, Bill. Question or nominate? Nominate. Michael. Michael, on British coinage, what do the letters FD stand for? Defend of the faith. Yes, or Phi DI, defence or? Question or nominate? Bill, please. Bill, the C. What is the main cause of tides? The action of the moon. Yes, the gravitational pull of the moon. Question or nominate? John. United States history. For what event in 1865 is Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia remembered, John? The surrender of the, to the Union forces at the end of the American... Yes, the surrender War. of Robert E. Lee to Ulysses Grant. Question or nominate? I'll nominate Bill. Bill, food and drink. For what drink did the family firm of grocers John Crabby & Co, established in Leith shortly after the 1745 Jacobite Rebellion, become famous? Whiskey. Green ginger wine that you put the whiskey in sometimes for a whiskey mac. Again, please, John. I nominate Michael. History of Scotland, Michael. Which port was the scene of Robert the Bruce's signing of Scotland's Declaration of Independence in 1320 and is famous for its smokies? Haddock smoked over an oak fire. Perth. Are both, are both smokies. John, please. Michael again, please. Michael, films. Which animated Disney film was released in 1995 to coincide with the 400th anniversary of the birth of its heroine? Pocahontas. Question or nominate? John, please. Still Pocahontas, John. Pocahontas fell in love with Captain John Smith and saved his life when her father was going to kill him. That's the well-known story. But who did Pocahontas marry? John Rolfe. Question or nominate? Bill, please. Bill, what name is given in the church calendar to the day that follows Shrove Tuesday? Ash Wednesday. Question or nominate? Michael. Michael, traditions. What is the Dunmo flitch? I haven't a clue. <laughs> it's a side of bacon that's given in a ceremony in Great Dunmo in Essex. Again, please. John. <clears throat> John. Domestic animals. Paul Dorset, Swaledale and Rough Fell are British breeds of what domestic animal? Cattle. Sheep. Bill, please. Michael. Michael, the Count of Monte Cristo, the Three Musketeers, the Black Tulip. Who wrote those books? Dumas. Yes, Pierre, Alexander Dumas. Question or nominate? Oh, sorry, uh, John, please. John, from the book of Genesis, God made Adam from the dust of the ground. In which religion is it traditionally stated that man was made from clots of blood? Islam. Question or nominate? 
Bill, please. Bill, sport, of the five continents represented by the rings on the Olympic flag, which continent has never seen a celebration or staging of the Games? Africa. Question or nominate? John. John, Henry V, the Battle of Agincourt was fought on which Saint's Day? St. George. St. Crispin's Day. Again, please, Bill. Michael. Michael, word connections. What colour links a Midlands industrial area, a Royal Highland Regiment and Edward, Prince of Wales? Black. Question or nominate? Bill, please. Poetry. Which 14-line verse form usually contains three quatrains and a couplet? A sonnet. In your own time, Michael, question or nominate? Nominate, please. John, Corfe Castle, scene of a famous Civil War siege, the ferry port of Weymouth and Chesil Beach. Which county are they all in? Dorset. Question or nominate? Nominate, Michael. Michael, specifically, please, where do animals and plants known as benthos live? Underground. <laughs> on the seabed. Well, young John, we've been here before. At present, 51 points your score, one life left, 15 questions. Somewhere there, about 211 points available. Here we go. Sugarloaf Mountain stands at the entrance to the harbour of which South American city? Rio de Janeiro. Which independent television production company makes Have I Got News For You, Drop The Dead Donkey and Whose Line Is It Anyway? I have no idea. <laughs> Patrick Productions. <laughs> 61, a third winning score for you, is that correct? No place on the finals board, but a fourth try sometime in the spring of 1996. Go back to Ireland, have a nice Christmas, and then come back here. We'll see you in March or April. Thank you very much. Well done. Thanks very much. There you go. There you go. Three times a winner. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, 4.30 Channel 4. See you then.